So, today we're talking about a battle from For You. It is a 1 7 scale. It is a beautiful figure, but specifics about it. Like I said, 1 7 scale, manufactured For You. You can still get on AmiAmi Ami right now for, I believe, 168 USD. That's about, what, 24,500 yen? So, not a bad price for it. I think it's on sale now for that price. Um, it is a single shipment item, do keep that in mind. So it's only gonna be shipped this one item by itself. So you can't combine it with your shippings. So it's gonna come in one box. Um, I do have the box here. It's very, it's not overly big or anything, given the size of the figure and the wings and the sculpt. The box is typical size for it. So I guess it's fine. Um, going over the box itself, it is a nice design. You get a good, pretty much, well, the box is a little boring, okay, let's be honest. But you get a good silhouette of the figure itself. And so you just get a good representation of that. Not too much on it. On the very top, you get a name of battle with a feather flying from it. Other than that, nice big window. Nothing too too extravagant about the box, which is fine. It serves a purpose, got it here. Very clean. Now, going into the figure itself. It's gorgeous. I love everything about the figure so far. The wings are greatly detailed. It has a nice little shine from the gold specks on it. It's a great gradient of black. It has a good little texture the further you go down because it goes from this kind of a smooth texture to a more rough texture, which is actually nice. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, it sits on a very interesting base. It looks like it's on water and then she's, she's standing on a pillar. Not sure why, just more, probably more for aesthetic, but overall, Fine, I can't complain about it. I guess the complaint most people may have with this figure is the fact there's two um, large metal rods keeping up her wings. It's it's somewhat distracting. I can I can see that, but at the same time, for how beautiful this figure is, I'm okay with taking that, especially just to avoid leaning problems. Especially with a battle, her wings are a big feature of hers, so you kind of have to display that in a way where the wings aren't going to well fall off. So I don't think there's a great structural way to do this unless you connect her wings with the base. But at that point, it's at one point that should be like one whole piece of that then. So you have to sculpt her on the base and just make a one whole piece itself, which wouldn't have been a bad idea. I think they could have really done that because they could have connected the wings to like the base of the water. But then it might have some structural integrity to where it might snap or break. And then I could see why you wouldn't do that as well. So. It's a give and take of how they could have did it, but again, your auto figure is gonna have those rods now just to help with stability. It's it's one of those things where you can you have to live with it. And I I will not move the rods because again I don't want the wings to break. Because how the wings sit on there is how most of the battle figures they have small pegs to the back of on her back that the wings insert into. So if you just don't put the rods on, the weight of the wings will definitely break those pegs. Even though they're thick pegs, they they will break over time. Like that's just gonna happen. So you know you're gonna need those pegs right now. The uh the spear that she has is for the most part nice. It's not incredibly detailed. Like at the at the uh at the actual blade there's some nice little detail. You can kind of see some demonic looking skull like things at the very end. And there's a nice little floral pattern on the actual blade itself. Nice little detail you probably won't notice without first looking into it. Uh, the shaft itself, pretty boring. It's a pretty matte black. And the uh, hilt by itself at the very base. On the other end, it's fine. It doesn't, again, it's not incredibly detailed for, for the spear, but it's nice. It's very shitty, like, given everything else about it. Uh, I will say is when you're trying to insert the spear, it's probably the last thing you put on. I don't know if there's a better way to do it because it doesn't really interfere with the wings at all because it sticks out at the very back here. You can probably put the spear in her hand first and then put the wings. It's a gift. I, I don't know. I'm How my instructions did it, I think you put the wings on and then the, the spear was last. Could you put the spear in first and then the wings? Maybe. But I would more worry about the wings breaking, trying to snap it over the wing. I, there's a, It's very... <laughs> It's very hard to say which one to do first. Try it out, let me know. But either way, I'll put my wings on first and I'll put the spear in. Um, the one thing I say was really nice about this figure that I didn't realize or I wasn't anticipating 
was the stocking she has are actual like stockings. Like they're not painted on or anything. They're kind of more like the uh, freaking bunny figures, but their stockings are real. These are really nice. These are like a very cotton and very, very textured and very nice realistic stockings, which I was surprised by. I wasn't expecting that with this figure. I thought they were gonna be, you know, painted on stockings or leggings or something. But no, they're actual stockings. So I love that. I'm going to the problem with that I have is the fact that if they ever like if they ever get snagged or something, then you know they're gonna rip and I'm gonna be like not have to pull the stockings off the figure, which I'm hoping I don't ever have to do with this figure or with my bunny figures. But I do like the stockings. That is a very nice touch. I do love it. Um, it is a China dress figure, which I've been buying a lot more of those recently. One of the first ones I have was uh, my cheese roof from Rent a Girlfriend, and then um, Ning Guan, which is a one of my beautiful favorite figures from last year. But this one right here, this little bell might be my favorite figure of this year. We'll have to see. I do have a few more coming in, but this one is gorgeous. Which is funny because I don't. There's only very few characters I buy multiple figures of. Um, the main ones being like my Jean d'Arc and Vanilla Jean. Other than that, or like my Kawa Bebop figures, which I have several, well, some copies of characters like Spike and Faye, um, or Vicious. But those are my favorite animes and favorite female you know, characters. Abello is a great character. I didn't see, foresee myself buying multiple figures of her. So this one was a surprise. I, I, I loved it when I saw it and I wanted it because I have... Um, which one is I think this was for you as well. I made the other Abedo floating figure I had. I did that was I think one of my first videos on this channel. But this figure is gorgeous. It rivals that one very well. Again, this is a gorgeous figure. Her hair is gorgeous. I love the fact that it goes from this black to this very light purple, which I do love. It's kind of a transparent purple. I don't dislike that at all. It's a very nice, I think it makes it a very elegant figure. Given the fact that she's pretty much floating on water. I think it makes it a gorgeous figure. And the fact that the water motion on it is very nice because you see the water swirling around her base. It's very cool. I love that design for it. Everything about the figure is gorgeous. Like I said, the only thing that may take away from it is probably those metal pegs, which again, bad, but again, you ha there has to have to be some give and take with some figures. Like overall, this figure is greatly detailed. I love the eyes. They captured her face very well. It's a very innocent and just kind of metal face, which I think is very cool for Abello. I think because she is that cool character when she's in battle or when she's not around irons. So she has that very cool demeanor. And I love that look for this one. I, I highly tell you, that's a very good look. Again, the dress, amazing. It's the sheen white and gold, which is very nice with some black accents. So it's very nice on Abello. Again, because I think that it's more of a reference to her actual outfit, which is more of a white dress with some gold trimmings. Same thing here. So it pays homage to that, but again, more in a China dress form. Again, because it works again with the comparison to her very black wings with some gold details in there. And the white dress is a very good contrast to what she normally wears. So I think this is a gorgeous figure. And I think for the price that you can get it for, like about 168 USD, this is a great El Bello figure to have. So I think for you did an amazing job. I'm sorry, ugh, amazing job with this figure. So it definitely qualifies for one of my favorite figures of this year. We'll have to see how the rest of the year goes because that this is a very good, very good competitor for it because this is a gorgeous figure. Again, didn't expect to get another Bella figure. A Bella is becoming one of those big popular characters that people love to get figures of. And to be quite honest with you, I don't think there's going to be another Bella figure I already buy unless they give me one with her in her full armor because that's the one I already am waiting for because her and her armor is always dope and I just I love that scene when you first see her and the eyes go out her and her full armor or her, her on her uh I want to say it's a Pegasus but it's not actually a Pegasus in the lore I can't remember what it's called but her on that that will also be dope I would love to see a figure of that but overall this figure amazing it's gorgeous greatly detailed love the coloring there's no bleeding anywhere that i see on my figure which i'm happy about it was very simple to put together might be a little bit more painstaking when you put those wings on because that might be a little bit of tension trying to get the wings on just right but overall 
it's a gorgeous figure. If you adore and love Valbetto or any just characters with wings and stuff like this, you would love this figure because I, I think this is amazing, especially for like the price you get it and everything. I, I love it. So that's really it, guys. That's all I have for you for this one. I, it's a gorgeous one. I love it. So anyway, that is all I got. I want to thank you for watching. If you want to check out more, you know, click here, click there, click somewhere in the comments, whatever. You let me know what you think. Anyway, like, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, crew.